This is Code Odori. What do we got here? Well, obviously, guys, we have our app. Remember, we're making this app. It's an app. It's called Mindy's app. Ta-da. All right. Look through the possible ways you can continue to modify and extend your app. Then pin, pick one or more to work on. Refactoring the code, uh, enhance user experience, add new features. Things that come to mind right away, at least for me, for refactoring the code. Let me show you. Um, bloop. Let me actually, just to get this all on the screen, I'm going to delete these comments. We don't need them. All right. So one thing I noticed while making this, guys, is this happiness level right here, high, low. And then we use it down here. However, happiness can only be high or low. It doesn't really seem necessary to assign it because what we could do instead, I'm going to put our stress thing the bopper here and happiness here. And the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to kill this and this. Instead, I'm going to use if conditions inside to now only check for stress level. So let me show you. If stress level is equal to high when happiness is greater than five, so this used to be called happiness uh, high or whatever, then I'm going to make it be this. I'm going to hit my plus here. Else, if happiness still high right here right and stress level is equal to medium so let me grab my stress level equal to medium and i'm looking for the happiness high ones stress level equal to medium great then oop almost did it there then i want that guy okay and then i could do an else or an else if it's kind of up to us but i'm gonna do just the else now so if happiness is, oh, and this was the else. If happiness is a high and stress is low, there we go. Cool. All right. Now in this one, I'm going to throw in another if, and now this would be if happiness is low. So let's grab all of those. If happiness is low and stress is medium, then we say this. And if happiness, that down. And if happy uh, stress level is high and happiness is low, we said that. And then I'm still going to have it catch all else. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this and still have an else down here. Just in case nothing applies, we'll put out that in case there's no other text. Now, hopefully I still have these right else. If. Oh, I need this just to be an else, though. Oh, no. I can do else if happiness. Uh, that's greater than five, so we can do less than or equal to five. There we are. Mm, except it will, so happiness would always have to be one or the other. So I am actually going to incorporate. I am actually going to move this up into this elf. Bam. And then get rid of that. Cool. And then I could even have this just be an else. But you get the idea. And then that happiness level thing, wherever that went, happiness level, not used. We don't need it. So that's a quick refactor that comes to my mind. And there's a lot of ways you can do this. You could combine ifs uh, and make it your own. You could also do this just based on stress level if you wanted, if you wanted to eliminate that. Now, enhancing the user experience, I really like what they point out here. It's hard to read what we're writing. Um, hopefully, I still have these texts correct because I got rid of that. So, you know, but uh, it's hard to read what we're writing here or what we're outputting. So instead, let's throw in some slash ins. And let me show you what they mean. I'm not going to do it for all of them, but let's go ahead and give this a test. So happiness. And this slash in yoga, listening to upbeat music. Oh, I missed one there. Um, now let's do a stress level of medium. And there you can see. So all you do is a slash in and a computer recognizes that as like an enter and oh, I need a line break and we'll push stuff down. And so you can do that throughout. That's one way uh, to add or enhance the user experience. Add a new feature. So we could collect additional info. We could do another option. Um, there's all sorts of things you can do here. You could just do something like, uh, you know, happiness, stress, and age, and then change it based on age. Maybe older people want to do more. Something I kind of think is fun is... I've seen students do suggest an activity. I'm going to, one suggestion I have or something I've seen is I can just throw a button on here 
and this isn't going to look perfect, but that's fine for now. I'm going to call this uh, music button. Sure. And then it's just going to say suggest music. And then based on the person's mood, when they click this button, I execute different code. So I could still have it within here. Wait. Suggest button. No, no, no. I wouldn't have it within here. I could have another event block and then execute based on this button being clicked. That's one way you can do this. You can also add a whole nother row, such as, like I said, how old are you? And then you can also use age to modify the output. Just a few suggestions. Have fun with this. Ooh, something I do love to do that's super easy and looks good. I'm going to show you real quick. So I'm going to do if happiness is high, screen one, boop, background color. And I can change it to red, we'll say. And it kind of is a nice feature uh, to add to your app. And then if it's this, maybe blue. Just something kind of fun. Boom. Anyways, onward.